Hello everyone, I hope you're all looking after yourselves. I wanted to do a quick video for you about the batteries in the 8-bit Do or 8-bit Do SN30 and SF30 Pro controllers. Now I've had these controllers for a few years now and they've been in pretty uh, good rotation. So I've used most of them quite frequently. And I've found that lately the battery life isn't quite what it once was. So I figured the battery needs replacing. Now I tried to find a replacement battery, uh, which is this one here, the GJ451860. It's a LiPo battery, uh, 3.7 volts and a 480 milliamp hour capacity. Um, I tried to find replacements for this battery and I came up with absolutely nothing. Could not find the same battery anywhere. I think maybe a year or two ago they were readily available, but for some reason, now I can't find a replacement. But in my search, I learned something about these batteries. I learned that this number, 451860, actually represents the physical dimensions of the battery in millimeters. So the first two digits, 45, are the thickness, 4.5 millimeters thick. The 18 is the width, which is 18 millimeters wide, and the 60 is the length, which is 60 millimeters long, which includes the protection circuitry on the end here, so it's from the outer uh, edges. Uh, and, and I can prove that actually. So here I've got my calipers, and uh, if I measure the uh, the length first, since I've opened them all the way out, and whoops, there you go. About 60 millimeters there, 60.9, which is pretty close. Mind you, it, there is a little bit of um, distortion on the edge. The width is, oh look, 17.2 millimeters wide, which is a little less than as specified. And the thickness is 4.5, brilliant. So. Now I know that, I figured that the what I really need to do is just to find the right kind of battery, which is a LiPo 3.7 volt battery that fits in the cavity of the, uh, of, of the controller where the battery goes. And I searched and I searched and I searched and what I came up with was this battery on AliExpress. I got these for quite a good price. It's something like twelve pounds and twenty-eight pence for five. And uh, if I just uh, move everything out of the way, so we can see, here we go. So you can see here that this is. It doesn't have the GJ on the front, but this is a forty twenty sixty. So this is only four millimeters thick, which is half a millimeter thinner than this one. It's twenty millimeters wide, which is um two millimeters wider than that one so not much at all and it is 60 millimeters long which is exactly the same length i figured uh, the cavity in the controller must allow for one or two extra millimeters in each uh, in each dimension so i thought this would be a pretty good fit it would definitely fit according to the length and the thickness it might be just a little snug on the width but i bought these got 10 of them and I have already replaced one of them. In this one, I made the replacement and happy to report it was a resounding success. So I'm going to show you now on this Game Boy style one, which I've already removed most of the screws from. So in order to remove the screws, it's just, it's just five screws and they are Torx bits. It's a T6. So all you need is a T6 Torx screwdriver, and it's simple as that, just five times. And then you just lift that off, and there's no risk of anything falling out because this everything else is screwed into place all over. Now, this one is absolutely flat. It doesn't start. But as you can see, here is the battery. Now, all these controllers, including the Android one, which is this one with the Xbox um, buttons on, they use the same battery. As you can see, although the print is a little bit different, it's the same number, GJ451860. 1.776 watt hours, 
3.7 volts, 480 milliamp hours. As you can see, my replacement battery, which is a little bit wider, claims to be 500 milliamp hours. So it will last a tiny bit longer than this one. Now, the battery on the reverse has some pretty robust double-sided tape, so it might need a little bit of encouragement to come out, but be careful, if, especially if you're using a knife like I am, I'm using the flat edge, the not sharp edge to help lift it out. But the last thing you want to do is pierce a battery like this because that can be bad. So here we go. We have um, that space there, and I think that will fit quite nicely. It's going to be a bit of a, a tight fit, but but a fit nonetheless. So what we need to do is remove the battery, which is soldered directly onto the board here and here. And, um, and then re uh, put the new battery in its place. I'm also making sure to be careful that the wires come out on this lower left corner because there is a little space in the shell to allow those wires to go through. Okay. Let's see if I can do it without damaging anything. Okay, so we've got... Um, Red is positive, which is on the left, and black is negative, which is on the right. Let's just see if I can do this carefully. One down, two down. Now, the replacement battery has these little bits of masking tape on there to stop them from shorting against each other. Just remove those. There we go. I think we're done. Turn that off. Make sure, yep, yeah, good. Get a little twist. All right, now let's put this in the space. The wires are a little bit. Yeah, wires are a little bit longer on the uh, replacement, but that's okay. Fits in there quite neatly. It's a little bit of a snug fit, but that's not going anywhere. Put that on. All I need to do is put the uh, three screw, uh, five screws back in place. I'll just put a couple in for now just to hold it together. And uh, it's lighting up. If I turn the light off, there we go. And that's it, simple as that. So, so you don't have to worry about getting a battery with exactly the right specification. As long as it's a 3.7 volt LiPo battery, and the dimensions aren't too far out of that range. I was able to get one that was much thinner, but slightly wider, which fit uh, nicely in that space. I wouldn't get one that's any wider than 20 millimeters, but certainly um, something that's thinner or even shorter would fit. I, when I was searching, I didn't want to get one that was any lower capacity as well, because I didn't want it to. I didn't want to get no benefit from having having to replace the battery. So the one I got advertised 500 milliamp hours, which was a little bit more than this, which means it's going to last a little bit longer, 
I hope, assuming that's correct. But it was quite a, a cheap solution. I'll end up doing all my other controllers in time because uh, as I as I work out which ones are actually failing. Um, but for now, I'm happy with the two that I have done, which is that one and this one. So I hope you find that helpful and, um, and maybe I'll see you again next time.